So I decided to go uh, away um, for the weekend and I went to Western Massachusetts to see the Berkshires. I love the Berkshires, They're beautiful. And then I decided to cross into the, uh, over the New York border and see what's in the Albany area and go north of Albany. I went to the Saratoga battlefield because I'm a history geek and I decided to go there because I always wanted to go there because um, I wanted to see where Benedict Arnold was a hero before he became a traitor. Incidentally, forgive my helmet head. Uh, I uh, brought my bike with me this time and uh, it's uh, my motorcycle helmet. But then I was looking for other places in New York and I came across something that is directly linked to Arlington. Cause you've probably been thinking, why are you doing this from New York? You're gonna see in a second, check this out. This ladies and gentlemen over here is the grave of Uncle Sam. Arlington native Samuel Wilson, better known as Uncle Sam to the world, is buried next to his wife, Betsy Mann, on these immaculately kept grounds at Oakwood Cemetery in Troy, New York, a non-sectarian plot of land that was founded in 1848. Legend has it Wilson hiked all the way to Troy and became very successful in the meatpacking business because of its close location of the Hudson River. Historians say he supplied the U.S. Army with barrels of meat during the War of 1812 and stamped his shipments with a U.S., which, as the story goes, gained him the moniker of Uncle Sam. Even though Sam was depicted by many cartoonists through the centuries, the iconic recruitment picture by artist James Montgomery Flagg during the First World War forever solidified Sam's likeness worldwide, which is why Uncle Sam is the most celebrated occupant at these hallowed grounds. Wilson's grave marker was erected in 1931 and is currently adorned with a patriotic wreath and flags presented by area veterans. Coins of well wishes from a steady influx of tourists top the marker, and cemetery officials say the nearby flagpole is manned by local Boy Scouts, who on special occasions will raise and lower the stars and stripes at sunrise and sunset. It's an inspiring story for Troy, New York, known as the home of Uncle Sam. In our nation's nearly 250-year-old history, Samuel Wilson has risen to near mythical status. But life also happens to those people history tends to elevate. So I'm getting ready to leave the cemetery now, and uh, as I was leaving, I was looking at this um, placard there that basically just talks about some of the people who are buried here. Um, and as I looked at the placard, I looked over to my left, and I saw this gravestone here. And I'll tell you about it in a second, but um, from what I hear, Samuel Wilson was a very genial fellow and very popular and people liked him and he was a great businessman and a lot of people truly uh, were rooting for him and uh, it's marvelous that he's uh, now uh, known as our Uncle Sam, but um, the fact that he was genial and successful does not mean his life uh, was not full of tragedy. All of Samuel's success couldn't save the lives of two of his children. Daughter Polly succumbed to fever at the age of eight. Sam Jr. also died when he fractured his skull, falling off a wagon at the age of seven. Still, Samuel Wilson would live in wealth and comfort to the ripe old age of 88 without ever knowing that he would be the U.S. manifestation of patriotism. An all too American story peppered with some old lore that ends here, but began here, nearly 175 miles to the east. For ACMI News, I'm Jeff Barnd.